in it late. Okay. On brand for me. We're live. Yay. Hello, Hi, everybody. Welcome. Welcome. I have Welcome. everybody screaming downstairs. So if you hear, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. It's his life, isn't it? Um, hi everyone. Um, sorry, we're late. It's completely my fault. I'm a hot mess and oh. have been this whole week. So, story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I just lost track of time and I was just sitting there having my coffee, chatting with some friends. And then before you know it, I was talking to Jay, and Jay's like, Amina, it's 11 30. And I'm like, oh, shit, I have to shower and stuff like that. Time creeps up. Yeah, so um, okay. here we oh, are. Exciting. Hello, everybody. Hi. Let's see who's here. Let's say hi to everyone who's hi. here. Mighty Strong was the first one I see. Hey, how are you? Wow. Um, then we have Saeed. Hi, Saeed. Welcome. Um, hey, my dear girl. Hey. Oh, hey, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, thank you so much for coming by. Happy Sunday. We have D'Angelo. Here, um, let's see. Oh, we have Chris from oh, the old factory zone. Thank you so much. I know Chris okay. is a fan of um, Broken Anatomy, so oh, um, okay, nice. think, you'll have to chime in. Yes, exactly. We'll be talking about the one you have, I'm sure. So mm -hmm. feel free to you know share your thoughts with us. With Definitely. everyone in the chat. If and then what's your scent of the day? Let us know. Absolutely. Um, we have Marsha. Thank you so much, Marsha, for coming by. We have Abraham. What's up? Hope you are well. Uh, Latanya. Hey. Hi. hi. Uh, let's see. Sparkly Unicorn. How are you enjoying hi. your sleep? How are you? Yes. How do you like them? Tell what us. is your favorite? <laughs> Tell us, please. Color. Hey, welcome. Did you ever get your um, your Olympic Orchids Discovery set? I'm wondering what you thought about some of the ones that I tried the other night. <laughs> um, we have Shanna. Thank you so much for coming by. Two of those that I need to try out. Like, I think I like, well, I have um, Bat. Well, not Bat. It's not called Night Bat. Flyer. Her line. It's called Night Flyer in her yeah. line. Um, and Woodcut and a couple other ones. You have samples of them? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. When I yeah. ordered Night Flyer, it, it came with my order. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, well, I was introduced by Night Flyer by you, and I loved it. <laughs> I ended up buying a, a 10 mil decant, yes. and I wanted to try more, so I ordered a discovery set um, around mm -hmm. the holiday time. It mm -hmm. was a lot, <laughs> so I did a live. Some didn't drive well with me, but some did. Mm -hmm. um, we were so watching that. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. Was a lot. And then we were there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have Kia, Yummy411. Hi, how are you? Hi. We got Mario Dones. What's up? Um, Mario's new to YouTube. So if you guys are looking for some really interesting content, make sure you check him out. Awesome. Is he on Instagram? He's on YouTube. I actually, Mario, if you have an Instagram, because I don't know your Instagram, put it in the chat mm -hmm. so we can follow you. Yeah, um, definitely. Let's see. Cologne Aventus. <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't you wearing Broken Anatomy, man? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Uh, Latanya is wearing Intense Cafe. I like okay. it. I love that one. I have it. Anjali, Anjali is here. I oh. need to talk to you, Maite, about Anjali. I don't know if you're aware. Do you know Anjali? Uh no. Okay. I don't think so. The we'll name does not ring a bell. We'll talk because she is launching her brand on tomorrow. Actually. Oh, how exciting! Yes. And she's starting off with three fragrances, and okay. she's so sweet. And okay. I already have a favorite, but what is the name of her brand? It's Anjali Perfume Perfumes. Anjali Perfumes, I think. Anjali, go ahead and yeah, pimp yourself out. <laughs> yeah, I have her, her sets literally like right on the other bed, but I can't. I okay. can't. Wait. Maybe I can reach it. Very very exciting. Okay. Well, let's see. Yeah, she has three, yeah, three, three fragrances. Cool. Um, Sorry, I said I like the gold. Uh, yeah, <laughs> how the sample set came. I ripped it open, and um, the third one is here. Oh, okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. uh, it comes with Tiger Bright, um, Monsoon Madness, and Ooh, like uh, the name. Himalayan Dawn. They're beautiful. Ooh, okay, I'm excited. Yes, we'll, we'll talk about it later. Um, <laughs> Okay, so you're wearing oh, woodcut is nice, yeah. yeah. So it's like a less sweet 
not very nutty uh, by the fireplace. So okay. it's no no chestnuts and not as sweet, but it's like that that same smoky woodiness. Like it's okay. so yeah, it's nice and yeah. I sampled it, but I don't really know um, by the fireplace that well. I do have a sample of that as well, so I want to compare them. But I found it to be a very like it was it was dry, like a dry cedar, but then it also yeah. felt a little damp at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, but I liked how it developed because it changed. Yeah. All of the fragrances I find they change quite yeah. drastically. Um, Yes. So yeah, it was nice. Oh, uh, let's see. Well, uh, thanks for someone amazing. wearing something great. Mm, you smell amazing. I smell you from here. Yeah. <laughs> I, need, I still need to get that. I still need to get it. Uh, oh, hey, Eve. Eve is here, but she's doing some work. No okay. problem. Um, I hope we inspire you. Yes, hopefully. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, did you see Sparkly Unicorns? Oh. Seriously blown away. Yes. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy. Yeah, I I'm happy you're able to try this. This is all about, man. So you guys can get your noses on some of these fragrances because they really are amazing and they don't get talked about enough. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Deanna's wearing Honor. Honor. I think yeah. I, have mm -hmm. I don't have no try that one. I think it's floral, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. But no, it's uh, well loved, I believe. People who love it really do love it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mantal um, Oud, amazing. Ooh. I've never tried that one. Sounds amazing. Mm. Maybe. Uh, Shanna's wearing Ellie Saab number nine. Mm -hmm. I am a fan oh, of the like the rectangle bottle. The mm -hmm. one I have one and vetiver and both. I have well, and then I have small ones of rose and oud, but okay. I have not the two burrows and the. I've heard it's nice. Yeah. I've heard nothing but good things about that line, so. Yeah, yeah, no, the amber is probably one of my favorite ambers. I think it's like my benchmark amber fragrance. Like if you want nice. to smell just like straight up amber. Yeah. That's this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh, FedEx. I don't think I have anything. <laughs> <laughs> For once. For once. I lost my spot. In this okay, I'm here. I see Solar's wearing um, M. Michaela Spiritual. Okay. And I did Salamanca Cafe V. Okay. And Sakura. Yeah, she's um, about, um... Salamanca is an interesting one. I remember it had like a a clay note. I think that's the one that had the clay note. And um, yeah, that one I didn't like it at the beginning, but as it developed, it got better. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's one that I would purchase though. But I did love Cafe V. But that's kind of obvious. I'm kind of this is Olympic orchids, right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Okay, so there's Mario's IG. So y'all, uh, oh no, change that. No fragrance <laughs> content there is of yet though. Okay. Well, if you want, that is. <laughs> <laughs> Pimp yourself. <laughs> Aw, she's, she's trying to be nice. She doesn't want to take over the chats. No, okay. it's okay. Well, I'm hoping the guest of honor pops in. Yes. So we're talking about a brand called um, Broken Bro Anatomy. And uh, it's ran by, or yeah, it's a family owned business. Mm -hmm. uh, and Ryan actually, and, yeah, Ryan and uh, Liberty. Yes. So they're husband and wife. Yes. How cute is that? That is a beautiful family. Yes. They have some kids. <laughs> so I can always connect and relate to other parents. I know how difficult it is. So, yeah. you know, to be doing that together is pretty special. Uh, and they're based in Arizona. And hello, hello. I'm going to quietly walk away. <laughs> just oh, okay. Well, I'll find you. Yeah, we'll talk about. <laughs> Does that sound like creepy? <laughs> <laughs> I'll find you. <laughs> so yeah, if you were like you know the amber, they're trying to keep up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I know. I'm wearing a fresh scent, Iris Springs. Okay. Hey, actually, if you like that, uh, who is it? Um, Kirk Elliott has one that kind of smells like Irish Spring to me. Okay. I can't remember the name of it. Off the I top do of love it. Irish Spring, though. I used to use the soap all the time. Mm -hmm. If you like those soapy scents. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What coffee? Oh, it was <laughs> supposed to, I put up in my stories. I can't remember what it is now. Oh. Is it's it the one you shared last, like last live? Yes. Uh, uh, it was a Starbucks one. Yeah. Let me, see if I can it, actually. let me see if I can find it. Starbucks. 
I screenshot it uh, because I was like, I want to try it. <laughs> oh my God, it's so good. It's like chocolatey and rich. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. I, oh wait, I went to wait before. While you're looking, okay. And I put, um, my creamer is a coconut creamer by Silk, I think. It's oh, like okay. half and half, but it's the coconut and like oat milk or something like that. Mm. And just maple, maple syrup. <laughs> it's so good. And some cinnamon on top. Find it. No. Oh. Sometimes the way the iPhone like organizes your photos, it doesn't. Yeah, this makes no sense. I can't find it. We'll, we'll, I'll tell you later. <laughs> we will, we will find it. Let's yeah. See. Hey, Sunflower, welcome. Okay. I saw, I saw somebody, I saw a beautiful face. Where'd she go? Is that Sunflower's face? Uh, yeah, she's gorgeous. Her too. <laughs> There's a lot of beautiful faces. <laughs> I saw, I thought I saw Anna. Oh, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I was just seeing things. Hmm. Maybe Chana. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> She's also stunning, so. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to see if we can get, okay, cool, 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 cool. I think we're pretty much, uh, is that it? No? I think that's it. That's everybody? Is that the coffee? Yes, that's yeah, it. I think that's that's it. the one, that's the one. Verano, hold on, let me see if I can find a picture of it now that I. Yeah. Starbucks. Oh, Anna is here. Anna. Oh, hi. I knew I saw your gorgeous face. I didn't <laughs> see it. Hey, how are you? Girl crush. Look, I'm like blushing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I find that I also have a few girl crushes here. Um, I won't I won't say any, but there's too many. Too, too many. many. Two. All right. So yes, it's the Verano. It's dark cocoa and caramelized sugar. Me too. I can't get this. <laughs> Maybe a different. <laughs> no, no, no. It's you. <laughs> Hi, Drea. Welcome. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Chris okay. or Camille or both. Uh, yeah, that's hello. it. Hello. Yeah. Okay. Hey guys. I don't know if it's Chris or Camille, but welcome. I'm glad we get to. Teach yeah, so this is what we're talking about. Broken anatomy. Yes. We're, uh, I don't have one. Based in Arizona. Uh, Ryan is the perfumer. And I actually met Ryan. Uh, he was a creative director for another brand. And that's how I met him. Because his, like, just uh, his stories and, you know, the stories that he comes up with for the perfumes are ridiculous. Like, he is very... You know, creative. That's why yeah. he's a director. And I was so excited. I thought this was such a, um, I don't know, unique, you know, brand. The, the packaging is unique. The the concept I think is is unique. It's um, you know, it's it, it's like meant to cater to the broken in us kind of thing. You know, like it's supposed to be comforting and even like the this in the packaging is like like jelly, like squishy, like supposed to kind of be like the brain. And then this is what the bottle looks like. I love now, it. Yeah. Now I was super excited to like actually touch this thing. You know, part of me wished that it was squishy. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. So <laughs> I don't remember. So I had already taken it out. I don't remember what these were for, but okay. you know, I think you know, since it's still like a work in progress, I'm sure the packaging will will kind of update, you know, as time goes on. But the actual bottle is really nice. So it comes like that. The box, like the, the sleeve is nice and smooth. Okay. And, the thing, and I love the, the bottle. Yeah. I love the um, metal plating. I think it's pretty cool how he gets it on here. And the name is on the side. This one's Chasing Memories. And then the cap. Yeah. Yeah, the cap is. So I've heard some things about the cap. <laughs> oh, I've heard too. I mean, yeah. Same thing that it's actually like real, um, like so not, real, not real brain, but it's like a. Well, there's like fingerprints and stuff in it. Um, I guess from the the molding, and I can see some fingerprints. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I'm not sure exactly how he molds them. Um, I think. 
on pictures, it looks cooler than maybe in person, but it's a nice, it's a cool concept. I mean, I'm, I'm a little nerdy. Like I like, you know, I'm very, I'm in the medical field. I kind of love anything, you know, anatomy yeah. related, you right. know, body related. And I, I think it's kind of cool. I think it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chris or Camille, thinks that it looks like a turd. Hey, a lot of, yeah, I've heard that. Mm -hmm. I've heard, I've of heard, yeah. I've heard um, something else too, but. <laughs> <laughs> now some people like them, some people don't, but I think right. it's definitely a statement piece. So if someone sees it, yeah, they're gonna be what is that? You know, it kind of captures anyone's attention. So I like that part about it. Stand out. Exactly. It's unique. Someone's gonna see it and be like, what? What is that? Whether right. they know it's a brain right away or whether they think right. it's a bird or, you know, a ball sack or just like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I heard that too. <laughs> I mean, the, the brain is not like the prettiest organ in the whole entire world, so, you know, mm -hmm. but I think he's got, you know, all the little. Uh, what do you call them? They're called. Um, I took anatomy back in the day, but I don't remember what they're called. <laughs> Not a baby uh, scrotum? No. I don't remember now. Not a baby scrotum. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but I don't know if this is going to be the final, uh, you know. Yeah. Uh, what is it called? The the final, like, presentation, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's still a work in progress or not. But that's yeah. it. That's the brain. That was the talking piece, right? Now that we got that out of the way. The exactly. brain. Yes. Yes, I actually, uh, I actually do like the packaging. <laughs> I like it too, simply because I, it's unique. And yeah. <laughs> if you think of, you know, broken anatomy, you think brain right. caps, and it's kind of yeah. like I think yeah. he should stick with it. I, I like it. I do too. Maybe the color, uh, maybe a different color. <laughs> okay, maybe possibly, maybe. possibly a different color. Um, and then the sample sets look like this, which are pretty cool. And you get a coin. Now Ryan is a firefighter. So, you know, this is kind of like in the firefighter world, it's uh, some kind of token or something. And yeah. um, it says, it's really beautiful, this coin. It's a kind of like a collector's thing. And it says broken anatomy on one side with the brain, which is beautiful. Yeah. And then on the other side is the firefighter, you know, symbol, emblem. And it says, always broken, never lost. Yeah. So, I can definitely relate. I think any most adults can relate, right? None of us, I think, go through life unscathed. So yeah, absolutely. And I, the, the, well, one thing I really like about the whole brand and branding, I guess, is that it feels very personal. If you go on the website and you read right. a bit about it, mm -hmm. uh, they're very much, you know, family oriented. Oriented. Mm -hmm. um, and I love how you know they have really great values because mm -hmm. when you purchase one bottle i think it's ten dollars of it goes to um operation underground railroad right. which is supposed to help uh fight child children or child trafficking right so i really thought that was amazing and if you even get a sample set they donate five dollars of the sample set yeah. to the cause yes. um so especially for a brand that's up and coming you know mm -hmm. they're they're uh they're also trying to grow but the fact that they're open and willing to um, donate. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, yeah. ten, the, the perfumes are what? Uh, less than $120. Right. And they're donating 10 of that right. for every bottle purchase to yeah. them. So, you know, yeah. you may not be getting like discounts or anything like that, but you know that the money is going somewhere, you know, yeah, for a good cause. And it's, you know, it's, it's, it's admirable, you know? Absolutely. Absolutely not. Not a lot of brands do that. So that's something that also makes them stand out to me. Salt dry. That's what it's called. Yes, I saw very it. Good. Okay. All the, yes, thank you, Eve. <laughs> I'm just reading all the comments about scrotums and... I had flashbacks of nursing school. So I'm like, oh, goodness. It froze up. <laughs> you can't make the scrotums up. No. No, not at all? Scrotum. No? No. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 mean, I don't think so. <laughs> a challenge coin. Yes, that's what it's called. Yes, thank you, Chris. Mm -hmm. um, I have mine somewhere. I brought it up. I think it's, you know, I'm a hot mess. Like I said, I'm late today. So <laughs> the coin is somewhere over there. It's what? 
My coin is somewhere over there on that oh, side. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, it's it's beautiful. It's I yeah. know a lot went into this. So this is also very personal because like I said, he is a firefighter. So he does come from that world. And no, it's just the quality. It's heavy. He actually, it's so sad because he sent me a thank you card, which actually has a picture of his wife and him. Um, I have that, yes. Uh, I, I really have that. <laughs> Well, he sent me a coin as a thank you. Somebody stole it from the, it came, the envelope came opened and it was stolen. I'm like, what the? Somebody probably thought it was worth like yeah. a lot of money or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, what You're jerks. <laughs> Such jerks. So I was very, very, um, you know, grateful that he sent me another one. So the, the discovery set was sent to me, um, but I purchased the, the bottle of Chasing Memories because I did love that one. Um, the discovery set, I would have, so I just a, a note, um, it came just like this. I think it would look really cool in a clear, maybe acrylic case. Something that if you flip it, you can see the coin on both sides. That's yeah. a little constructive criticism for Ryan. I don't know if he is coming or, you know, if he watches this, but that's just me. Um, otherwise, I think this is, the molding is pretty cool. And the way that they were molded in here was like, I think it was actually heated with the sample sets because they were yeah. like really difficult to come out. Yeah, and some of the silicone was like in the yeah like the cap and stuff. Yeah, they weren't going anywhere. <laughs> no, <laughs> which is good. Okay, so I have my sample set here. I purchased mine. Um, he had um, because he was releasing, you know, the whole discovery set with the coins. So mm -hmm. I pre-ordered it because I was like, I want my, I want one. I want a coin, I want a discovery set. And I heard from the brand or heard about the brand from you. Um, and then I checked them out on Instagram. And then I noticed that uh, on Oh My Soul, there's a Facebook group, if you guys are on Facebook called Oh My Soul. And they do, they invite a lot of perfumers to do live. So mm -hmm. um, Pissara from um, Ducita, she's always doing lives there. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, Her name's Christine who runs that page. Yeah. Exactly, Christine. The photos are super beautiful. Like, Her vintage collection I is cannot. incredible. Yeah. Um, she's also super sweet. <laughs> yeah, and, it's true. Um, what else? Uh, she just had uh, Frisai. Uh, okay. Angela? I can't remember her name, and I feel bad. I actually won a giveaway because I joined that live from oh, Frisai. Oh, very cool. And I ended up getting the travel set of the three new releases, so I hope to do a video on this soon. But she's super sweet. So... I also learned more about Ryan and kind of like the brand and what it stands for um, through that group because he did a live a while back, um, which was really cool. Yeah. Just a, another little side note why I connect and probably my own personal thing. My daughter has a um, genetic brain malformation. So her brain is smooth, right? And I was always fascinated, you know, with kind of that, you know, it's just you know, her, yeah. her information also. I think that's partly why I connect with the brain too. So that's my own personal thing, right. you know, so that's, which where most people maybe will see something like, oh, wow, I see something <laughs> beautiful. I think it's actually pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. That's really cool. Thank you so much, Mighty. Uh, yes, thumbs up the video, guys, if you haven't already. Uh, I saw um, Andrea. Almost, I almost made it sound sexy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, got it. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Let's see. We already we already fell behind. Okay, so Andreas is here. I can't find. Oh, there he goes. Hi, welcome. Service fragrance. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Joanne is also here. Thank you, Joanne. Um, <laughs> I don't know what scrotum would sound like in a German accent, but I yeah. I feel like I need to hear it now. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I'm going to have to talk to Kat from, well, she changed her Instagram um, handle. I think it's Floriental Soul now. Okay. She was, uh, I can't remember what it was before, but she is German and I talk to her regularly. She has a beautiful <laughs> accent, so I'm going to yeah. have to say it for me. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna think I'm crazy. <laughs> yeah, like can you say the word scrotum for me? <laughs> Record it and send it to me. She's gonna be like, um, okay. <laughs> Hello, smooth momentum. Hi, welcome. Hope you are well. Um, okay, I think we're pretty much almost caught up now. 
Oh, that was the one you just did. Okay, maybe are you a zombie then? Maybe. What are we talking about? I'm not sure. I might be. <laughs> we probably missed something. Oh, Jonesy yeah. is here. Hi, Jonesy. Welcome. As far as not sleeping? Yeah, I don't sleep. So, yes. <laughs> what is sleep? Hey, Tiggy girl. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming by. Hi. Um, oh, gosh. <laughs> you have to. Send it to all of us, Andreas, <laughs> Hi, hello. Yeah, I think if you find a brand that you connect with, you know, that's even more special. So everybody, everybody has their, their viewpoints. Yep, absolutely. Okay, so I'm just, I just sprayed a little bit of all of everything on me just now. Um, I'm actually wearing uh, Burnt Remedy today as my scent of the day. After I showered, I kind of sprayed it around this area's uh, yeah, um, yeah, I've sprayed them all too. Brain, yeah, I'm, I'm still not ex explained, Michelle. Maybe she thinks you eat brains, like, cause I don't know. Maybe, maybe, mm, maybe. I maybe. don't know. Okay, so still unsexy. Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so should we start talking about the fragrances? Let's do it. Let's do it. Anything else you want to touch on? Um, let me see. I wrote notes. We're talking um, about I, I just packaging. Wanted to I like yeah. the box. Okay, yes. I like the discovery. So just a little, you know, constructive criticism as far as where to put this. Like, I feel like this should be inside of something. Uh, but yeah, I also would have to agree with that. Even a, like, even if it was a box, maybe something to kind of enclose it. Yeah. I think the acrylic case would be a really good I idea. I thought also it didn't take away from shit. Uh -oh. like the presentation. <laughs> Whoops. It's good quality. It's very heavy. Yeah, it's a heavy, it's a heavy coin. It's it's thick. She thick thick. <laughs> um oh my god. <laughs> let me check where's my phone just in case I do get it. So I we can all hear it. Zombies do eat brains. They actually will eat anything. <laughs> Even scrotums. I do like brains though. Yeah. Okay. So um yeah, I think that's that's all as far as like background information that I have. Um <laughs> I know that would be bad. That'd be so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Swords installed not too long ago. <laughs> you just have that to send uh, Ryan an invoice for that. Oh, do your floors still smell like um No, they don't, but oh. the towel I use to wipe it up. I haven't washed it yet, but yeah. I just left it in the kitchen because it still is really strong on it. Um, oh so I still have the fragrance kind of in the house. Right. But you know, he sent me a bottle. Oh my God, that yeah. is so nice. When I posted the picture of my broken, that hurt me so bad. Oh my gosh, that and, is awesome. Yeah, and then he reached out to me. He was like, Manuel crossed the perfumer. He's like, hey, I'd be more than happy to send you a replacement. And I was like, no. That is no so way. Yeah, so I have um, major brownie points for him. So I have a new one, guys. Oh, good. good. Yay. So, so happy. So happy. That made your year, I'm sure. Absolutely. Uh, it's the beginning of the year, but <laughs> yeah. Like start off the year breaking a bottle. <laughs> I was so sad. So sad. 2021 20, is just a continuation of 2020. So. That's what they say. <laughs> 2021, 2020 part two, 2020 part three. <laughs> Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> oh goodness. Hair. I hate that feeling, right? When you have like a hair tickling your face. Yeah. Yeah. Just doing those. Okay. I'm labeling some uh, scent strips right now because okay. I noticed that I got a whole, especially with one in particular, my experience on paper and on skin were completely different. Oh, yeah. These are um, definitely need skin um, yeah. and they develop They They don't start out, you know, the yeah. way they end. They definitely, you know, it's like a whole story, you know? Yeah. Okay. So I guess we'll do like we normally do and start off with our least favorite yeah, or most favorite. And I, I, we had a conversation earlier and yeah. I know which one's your favorite and that one's not my favorite. <laughs> um, it might be at the end though. Maybe, maybe we'll see. Okay, tell me your least favorite. Okay. There's three of you guys in the collection right now. He's working on a fourth one, which you know I think it's supposed to be coming out like March, April. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So I'm trying to see how to word this because it's not my. I don't hate it, right? I don't hate right. it. Right. Um, it's just out of the three, mm-hmm. two of them are like good, and the other one is like I I love. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm trying to think what's this is called. It's called Burnt Remedy. Okay. So the one I want to talk about first is Chasing Memories. Okay. And I think you well, not I think I know that you like that one. Yeah. And I think that's the one that Chris also has. Okay. Um, let's see. Me mm-hmm. too. I love him. Um, okay, so let me have my notes. I have my notes here. <laughs> It was a very fresh fragrance, and uh, I read that it's inspired by the power of relaxation and togetherness. Mm-hmm. And I love the picture that he has on the site because he has a perfume in his hand. You can see his kids like, yeah. on a picnic uh, blanket, cool. just like oh, okay, okay, you know, in the background. I thought it was yeah. really cute, and I kind of could get that you know relaxation, like you're kind of at peace. You're you know enjoying the time with your loved ones, mm-hmm. no stress, just like the peak of contentness yeah yeah it's very sparkly and fresh and just mm-hmm. happy it's like a happy fragrance you know absolutely i, um, I do like it as well there's grapefruit in the top there's uh some orangey quality mm-hmm. right so it's mm-hmm. open very heavy mm-hmm. a little bit sharp almost uh, almost peppery i think for me in the opening yeah excuse me i can get that i think it's a grapefruit i'm not one to really like be able to pick out grapefruit a lot in fragrances, but it's very obvious here because you have that, like you yeah. said, that sparkliness. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's bitter, you know, because grapefruit yeah. still has that bitter quality. Absolutely. Um, mm, mm, mm. Okay, so <laughs> the notes yeah. here are uh, bergamot, grapefruit, orris, orange flower, absolute, mm-hmm. sandalwood, and white musk. Yeah. For me, I get the really bright, fruity opening. It's not super bright, but it's like a sparkly, citrusy opening. Um, I get mostly grapefruit, as I said. And it, like I, I'm reading my notes basically verbatim, and I wrote that it has this airy, fizzy feeling. Mm-hmm. Spark- Effervescent. Like, yeah, yeah, that sparkling grapefruit. Mm-hmm. But it has like a slight sweetness. So I said it reminds me of a sugar-free, sparkling fruit drink. Okay. Yeah. It is sweet like that. Yeah. And, yeah. Not like, sugary sweet, like, like a tamed sweet. Right. Right. Yeah. Not, not overly. And all of these are extraits, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All of these are extraits. So I mean, they're, they're. You know what? What surprised me? Because I only found out it was an extra after I was researching the last one, which is Burnt Remedy, or the last one that I tried. Right. And I saw that, that was an extra. And I was like, wait. Are all of them extraits? Because for me and my experience with extra perfume mostly is that they tend to be very thick and very dense. Mm-hmm. I find that in all of these, all three fragrances, they have this like light airiness and they yeah. all have a little bit of freshness. And I don't know, I'm thinking maybe that's Ryan's, uh, Ryan and um, Liberty's uh, signature. Maybe, yeah. Well, they, all, they have that like, But yeah, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. There is like a freshness, definitely. We all kind of have that. Um, my favorite part of this is the dry down. Um, that white musk is yeah. so like crisp and you know clean and just almost, almost. I don't know. Like it, it sits so close to the skin, but it like lingers for so so long. Like I'll, yeah. I will smell it on myself like all throughout the day. Um, if I sleep with it when I wake up in the morning, you know, it's still very very there like it doesn't rub off on my sheets like a lot of other perfumes do yeah um and it's that muskiness that did it for me which yeah. is a clean musk not a dirty musk it's, yep. it's, mm-hmm. yeah it's a dry down is a soft clean mm-hmm. white musk. yeah mm-hmm. and i love that i don't know i, I love like white musk this yeah. is so i just loved everything from the beginning to the end i loved how it evolved it was like uh yeah it just it yeah. did. when i first smelled it i didn't I didn't like the opening okay. a little bit to like enjoy it. I thought mm-hmm. another one was my favorite, but this one ended up being my favorite of the three. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Chris just said definitely a summertime fragrance. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not like, you know, when you think of summertime fragrance, you think of something that's citrusy and yeah. I always mm-hmm. think of something like light blue by Dolce and Gabbana. Yeah. And that, 
is very boring. Yeah, so boring. I like when I can get that like summery feel without it smelling like a bucket of lemons, you know? Right. <laughs> or like cleaner, like a like a mm -hmm. type thing. Um, I just saw a few people come in. Um, Courtney asked about the rogue fragrance. Yes, I think you can get them from Lucky Scent. You can also get it from the site directly as well. Okay. Um, Mario loves a grapefruit top note. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um, it has our hey, here. What's up? Hello. Thanks for coming by. Uh, great chemistry. Oh, thanks. High five. Yeah. Didn't think we did this thing. Oh, yeah. Wait, <laughs> it's so backwards. Ready? Yeah, I can't see. Okay, ready? Oh, wait, I went too far. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, well, wait. we're gonna have to practice this. Yeah, okay, go. <gasps> Okay, <laughs> we'll, we'll get better at it. We'll keep practicing. <laughs> so Marlon is here. Thank you so much for coming Hi. by. It's nice to see you. Um, we're talking about chasing memories, uh, Michelle. Chasing memories, yes. Yes, and Chris said, so, okay, oh. thanks. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's a very unique, I think, take on citrus. And I'm yeah. not a big, see, when I find a citrus that I like, I scoop it up because I that's not my favorite, you know, fragrance category. Same. I don't have a lot of citrus fragrances. So when I find one that I really, really enjoy, I want to, I want to get it. Yeah. Because in the summer here, I can't wear some of the heavier fragrances that I gravitate more towards or I'll like mm -hmm. myself. So yeah, I'm the same way. I don't like, I usually don't like a lot of citrus scents. Right. Um, but if you look through my collection, I have very, very, I don't think I have, I maybe have one true citrus fragrance Yeah. out of all the fragrances that I have. Um, yeah, it's not my favorite. It was that Guerlain Ideal Cologne. That's the only citrus that I had for like okay. the last time. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, uh... <laughs> okay. So um, anything more you want to say about uh, um, memories? No. Okay. No, I, I think that, I think we covered it all. Yeah. But you did mention how, like the longevity, the long, I get, I wore it yesterday as my scent of the day, um, chasing memories and it stayed on my skin all day. All day. And up to the point where I, I, cause I, okay, for me, I would, I choose a fragrance as my scent of the day. Mm -hmm. I'll spray that everywhere. And usually by the end of the day, it's worn off. And I like to like, I'm weird, but before I take my nighttime shower, Right. I'm like, oh, let me spray on some stuff. Like I have samples, let me test some stuff. Right. But I have to be careful where I sprayed those because I had, I could still smell chasing still memories smell up and down my arms. Mm -hmm. So I had to like, you, I had to spray them like on here and on my fingers because like, it was just really, it was there. Yeah, it definitely like just leaves your skin scented. It's one of those like, yeah, yeah that you just want to spray everywhere to have your just like skin smell like it. Yeah. So, pretty cool. Okay, so which one's next? So let's talk about my least favorite, which I thought was my most favorite when I first sampled it, This the Brain Dance. Okay. So I love the opening of Brain Dance, right? I love like the, it's woody, floral, and warm. There's like warm spices. I think there's cardamom in here. Yeah, there is. Um, I love that opening, right? And it almost like, it, it made me go, ooh, like, what is that? Like, my brain maybe did a little dance, right? <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> 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 and mm -hmm. my, uh, what I don't like about this is the dry down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you I, don't like the dry down. I do not. And, you know, because these have, like, such a, like they have two distinct um, uh, points, right? There's that opening and then the dry down is completely different for me. It's yeah. like totally like the salty aquatic. Yes. Which I don't, I don't like aquatics. That's not my thing. Um, is it a nice fragrance? Yes. If you love aquatic fragrance, you may love it, but it's just not my jam, you know? Yeah. Okay. So for me, um, when I first received my uh, discovery set, mm -hmm. I tried this one in Chasing Memories on paper. Um, I had a, a, a faulty discovery set, actually. I was sent two okay. vials of brain dance, okay. and Ryan later on sent me 
two vials of burnt remedy so I can actually, so I have two samples of brain down and two of burnt remedy. Right. Um, so when I first tried it on paper, I liked it. I was like, I like this because I, I like anise. A lot of people are not really fans of anise because it mm -hmm. reminds them of like black licorice, but I don't think this goes in that direction. Mm -hmm. It just gives it a bit of spice. Yeah. It's funny that you say warm spice because to me, it's it's more of a yeah. cooling spice. Yeah. I don't, I wouldn't describe this as being warm, yeah. um, but I find the anise and the cardamom to be a bit um, on the cooling side. And more yeah. pressure. When, um, went, when in the opening, when I first sprayed it, I got yeah. and I immediately messaged her. I was like, "Is there chocolate in this?" I got ah. some chocolatey, and okay. it was really weird. <laughs> well, he said no chocolate. He said no. This one does not have chocolate. I wonder if this has patchouli because mm -hmm. I get a lot of patchouli, um, like a fresher patchouli, even though it's not listed in the notes. Okay. Um, so okay. This brain dance to me was a very strange one because like I said, I first tried it on paper and I liked it. I got some of that spices. Um, I thought it was quite fresh. And then I sprayed it on my skin and then I got a completely different reaction and I almost hated it until I went back to it maybe mm -hmm. 10 minutes later. Okay. And so on my skin, it was very weird. I don't know how to explain it, but it had like a sourness to it. Mm -hmm. And it had this marine, um, a, a marine, marine ozonic type feel. And I think Chasing Memories has that as well. I can't remember. Um, Was it? Was it? I don't, I don't know. No, I just made that up. Um, but <laughs> I'm also one that doesn't really care too much for aquatic and ozonic fragrances. But after a little bit, I noticed that it was getting better and better and it was developing more. And then I got a little bit of that earthiness, which I was like, there's no patchouli in here, but I'm getting very much patchouli vibes, um, mm -hmm. which is why you say chocolate. A lot of the times patchouli comes off to me it as okay. chocolate. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, it just, it just changed so much. And for the, when it was drying down, I got a bit more of the florals. I think he only has uh, geranium listed as, the floral here, but mm -hmm. I want it to be really like soft. And then um, there's aldehydes and I didn't get any aldehydes until the mid to dry down, which yeah. threw me off. And then I started thinking brain dance, maybe that's what it's supposed to do because looking at the note breakdown, right? Uh, do I have the note breakdown here? I don't think I wrote it down, um, I but it has aldehydes, it has geranium, it has um, some other things, but when I, see a note breakdown especially if it's not like listed like this is top notes this is middle notes this is right he just has them like in a small paragraph and i see certain notes i can kind of assume okay these are going to be the top notes based on you know we try so many fragrances we kind of know the typical structure of most fragrances so i i would assume okay the the citrus and the aldehydes are going to be in the opening because they're always in the right. opening fragrances um, maybe florals in the mid and then the woodiness and all that stuff in the base. But for me, I found that the florals and the aldehydes didn't come out until later, which threw me off. Mm -hmm. Because when I saw aldehydes, I was like, I don't really get much aldehydes on my skin. And mm -hmm. then later on, they just like, Phew, with the florals. And I was like, right. I'm confused. So the whole like, brain dance thing, I'm like, me it happened, right? It happened to yeah, me. It happened to me. Dance. Dance. I'm saying this. <laughs> okay, the notes are... Uh, Anise or anise, geranium, yeah. cardamom, aldehydes, oak moss, absolute, and ambroxan. Yeah. So that yeah. earthiness is probably from the oak moss. Perhaps. Yeah, could be. Mm -hmm. um, but I do like brain dance. When I first tried it on my skin, I was, like I said, I, I was almost repulsed. <laughs> and I'm glad I gave it some time to do its thing because I really like this. I really like brain yeah. dance. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, I can't, I, I can't say it's not, it's not, you know, horrible, right? If you like aquatics, like salty aquatics, if you like, you know, that, then you may love this. You may, you may really love this because it's not bad. It's just yeah, the thing is, I don't like aquatics. I don't like marine aquatic. I'm very picky when it comes to fragrances like those, but I, I like this one. So I think that says something for someone who doesn't typically like those type of fragrances. I like what this does. 
Sorry. It's not a linear fragrance, obviously, because I told you how it like was from, it went from here to here yeah. to here. Um, and I think it's really unique. And now that I'm smelling it on this paper, <laughs> my, yeah, I know, I know. D'Angelo doesn't like black licorice. <laughs> oh, Yara is here. Hey, Yara, welcome. Hey, Hills, tell her I said, what's up? <laughs> um, yeah, cool spices is what I get from here. It definitely could be that anise. I think it's more like fennel -y than it is like licorice, oh. you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's more like a fresh fennel than it is like black licorice to me. Yeah, I don't get black licorice at yeah. all. It's, it's fresher. Like, I don't like black licorice, and I'll say it again. Black, I would, black candy or whatever is supposed to have licorice note. That one's terrible. Right. Um, but this is, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Michelle is asking if these are, uh, oh, sorry, are okay. unisex. I, I think so. Yeah. yeah, I think so. Yeah, I don't think any of them leaned one way or the other to me. I think maybe the last, to me, the last one, the, the, the yeah. remedy, maybe yeah. slightly less, uh, it leans more. Um, yeah. And very slightly. Think, but, traditionally speaking, because yeah. the type of fragrance that it is, but it just depends. I, I love it. So, and I wear those types of fragrances. So the last one being. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't get black licorice. Mm -hmm. Like I, I said, more like, like a fresher anise, like a spice rather than like that sweet candy. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Chris is asking the same. Uh, <laughs> I don't like those. Mm -mm. Uh, okay, let's see. I'm shape gummies I used to eat, ew. <laughs> Is Chasing Memories similar at all to Girl? No, no, it's no, mm, no, it's not. Actually, no. I, I, I've never tried them, so I have no idea. No, it's not. Uh, it's, not more oh. it's more punchy. It's definitely a lot more in your face where um, the Ideal Cologne is, I think, a little smoother, lighter. Um, uh, I see I something here. Um, Trident water, first off, welcome. Welcome. Are we I'm talking about here keeping doors down? Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> which are you talking about? The uh, brain dance. I'm guessing it's brain dance you're talking about. Well, that's why you don't test on paper. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I can, man. I've never tried squid, actually. I, you like squid. squid. Yeah, I haven't tried that yeah. one. So I, um, squid, I ended up with, um, accidentally because, um, perfumology, um, well, long, it was a long story, but I accidentally ended up with a partial bottle of it. Um, and it was love at first sniff because it was so weird. It was like yeah. this dark, inky, not aquatic, but just okay. like incense and like, I don't know, it's like murky waters and incense and it and salty like because of the ambergris and I was so like thrown off I was like what is this I've never smelled anything like that before so okay you know, yes I am, I, am, I am a fan of squid the squid is weird try. so I need to try it hey time to musk up what's up how are you um let's see catching up here um, 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 um. Finally! Oh, hello, Ryan. Nice to meet you. Welcome. <laughs> oh, he was on Instagram. Oh, so we probably oh, weren't Oh my here. gosh, sorry. sorry. We normally do it on you, the YouTubes. <laughs> the YouTubes. You're probably messaging. I haven't checked my messages. I'm sorry. Well, hello, you're here now. Welcome. Hey. Um, talk and review. <laughs> Next one. Excuse me. Bless you. Um, <laughs> Hi. Okay. So shall we move on? Uh, yeah. So we talked about chasing memories and brain dance. Yes. And now we're on to the last one. And both of our favorites, sort of, yeah. even though I have two favorites, um, Burnt Remedy, which is a very traditional tobacco fragrance to me, you know. It's, you find it traditional? I do. I think it's tobacco. Yeah, well, it's, tobacco. it's tobacco. Like I'm like, this is tobacco. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you love tobacco, then that's what this is. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
Um, that one cashmere. And there's something a little bit spicy too. Yeah. Uh, okay. That's like uh, he's talking about squid. Oh, yes. <laughs> Get me some too. I didn't talk about it. <laughs> um, yeah, Ryan, anytime. It, it's yeah, going to be good. No, no there's, some, there's some critiques, but overall, I think we're pretty happy. Okay. So let me grab my notes. I don't know why I decided, not only I type my notes, but today I felt in a writing mood. The thing is that I suck at writing, so hopefully I can read them. Yeah. Oh, so as far as like, is it the most, it's not the most unique tobacco, but it is a nice one. And yeah. I think it's, it's it, at first it reminded me of um, Mancera's red tobacco. So I compared them. Okay. And this one's a lot smoother, not, you know, so synthetic in the opening um, and not as sweet. It's less sweet than the red tobacco. So yeah. I think if, if you don't already have that one and you're looking for, you know, a nice tobacco fragrance, and this is definitely one to, um, to check out. Okay. Okay. So for me, this is also like we said earlier, my favorite one out of the three. And I was looking on the website and I saw that it's sold out and I was like, no, <laughs> but it looks like they're, um, they are restocking. Okay. Tomorrow. I think the first. What did you say? You want to smell like that Zaza? What is that? I don't know what that is. I don't think we want to know. Yes, we did say tobacco. Yes. Burnt Remedy. So this one's inspired by, obviously, his career because he's a firefighter. Yes. Tell us. Just uh, well, I don't know. The whole, I'm not. Oh. <laughs> well, I think, okay, if I remember correctly, I'm going to try and go off, <laughs> off the dome. Yeah. But uh, we oh. earlier, Ryan is a firefighter. And I don't know where, which fires they were fighting, but they were fighting intense fires for a long time. And he spent a lot of time. Where? Sheep where? Barn. where? A sheep barn. Okay. Fire. Yeah. Uh -huh. And, you know, they're working hard. They're working hard. They were tired. And he wanted to go back home mm -hmm. to his wife. And, you know, I think it's kind of um, a fragrance that's supposed to, I don't want to say represent hardship, but I think it's more of like it's missing someone. Right. Finally reuniting with that person that you've been missing. Right. Yeah. This is okay. So this doesn't smell like a burning building. Okay. <laughs> no, it doesn't. This it's smells, not like it's not. Su it's to me, it's not like super smoky. I was know? gonna say it's kind of smoky, but it's not like barbecuey smoky. Like a lot of smoky oh, fragrance. Oh, it's not dark smoky. No. 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 It's, um, a little, it's it's sensual. It's like like I said, it has. I think it has cashmere. Even if I'm not mistaken, yeah, it smelled cashmere to be exact. And oh. it has chocolate. It has hay absolute. This one's the one with chocolate. Yeah, yeah. and hay I think absolute smell cashmere vetiver, wet okay. tobacco leaves, chocolate, and propolis. Propolis. I was like, what is yeah. that? The honey, I, right? Well. I read that it's a resonance materials that a resonance material that bees use or produce mm -hmm. to keep their hives germ free, like a septic mm -hmm. type material. And it's supposed to have this like sweet, warm, musky, animalic, resinous, amber-like quality mm -hmm. to it. And I can sort of see that because there is a bit of sweetness, but it's not like a sugary. You know how typically you have a tobacco, um, like a honey tobacco scent, and those can be a little bit too sweet at times. This right. one is not sweet at all. It's the darkest one out of the three, but it still maintains that airiness that I think is uh, Ryan's kind of signature DNA. Um, yeah, it's a little. It's a there is a freshness, like um, yeah. yeah, like almost. God, I'm trying to think of like the texture. There is texture to it though. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, I'm wearing I'm wearing launching. I'm so sorry. Well, yeah, I could definitely see that. I don't. I think. Yeah, I don't know if this will do that for you, but it might because oh. it is. It is very heavy on the tobacco. Yeah. Um, oh. Labels and to change the date. Okay, okay. Cool. Yeah. Well, just let us know because I, out of all three of them, I think this would be the first one that I mm -hmm. get for myself is yeah. a burnt remedy. Does anybody have any questions for Ryan now that he's in the house? Yes. We 
You were protecting a sheep farm. That's awesome. Oh my God. 80,000 acre wildland fire. Yeah, yeah. That's exhausting. Yeah. That's exhausting. Um, but yeah, that, like I said, that's my favorite. I'm wearing it all over myself today. Um, it's my faves. <laughs> and I'm so happy that I have two vials. So I can use those until like it's officially one. launched or um, mm -hmm. stocked again. Oh, Zaza is loud. Mary Jane. Oh. The devil's lettuce. I've never heard it called Zaza. I think that's like a new thing. You know, these kids nowadays. I don't. It's new. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm old. Yeah, same. I call it pot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Universal, uh, universal. Everyone knows what that I'm, is. I'm cool with smelling like pot. <laughs> um, you no, know, speaking of smelling like pot, I recently tried Mansara's Indie Kush and I kind of like it. Indie Kush is nice. Yeah. yeah. You have that. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like it. I, I do, it. right? I know. I do like that. Um, yeah. The other one that has is a uh, black Afghano, which is also very nice. It's a lot darker. Okay. It's very yeah. dark. Uh, it does have sweetness. Yeah. Yeah. But it has this, you well, know, not, okay. right, right. Yeah. It's not, it's not overly sweet though. Yes. How do you like um, hay in your fragrances? I'm so glad that I, that I like hay. Yeah, fragrances. I love that grassiness that it gives fragrance. Yeah. Uh, my favorite hay fragrance is uh, Sweet Grass by Libertine. I think I sent yes. you a sample of that. But... Yes. It's on my list to get because I really love it. <laughs> and that one is kind of a tobacco scent as well. So I feel like mm -hmm. hay and tobacco notes really yeah, nicely together. together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, really nicely. So definitely. Yeah. Okay, propolis and a mask. Does it? Does your mask have a scent? Yeah, I'm wondering. It smells like I honey. Think it smells clean and not like honey at all. Maybe yeah. it's a little waxy, but I don't. You get waxiness at all? No, I don't think mm, so. Not really, but I do get like that amberiness that I'm thinking is coming from that um, propolis. They did say that it propolis can come off as animalic. Mm -hmm. I don't get a lot of animalic, but I do just get like a resinous, a very lightly sweetened type amber yeah. Um It doesn't have a super, like, it doesn't have a thickness. Right. Um, but it's very, like I said, it's very light air. It's a texture. It's a... But yeah. I, think that, I think that's just the, the signature DNA of the brand is this like right. airiness, regardless if, even if it's a smoky fragrance or a sweet fragrance, I feel like the, it'll always maintain that lightness, even right. though it's an X straight, the parfum. Yeah. So, this one's the one that reads mostly as an X straight though. The other two, I don't know. They could, I, I would think they were maybe EDPs, um, even though they last a long time. Yeah. But as far as like the heaviness, this mm -hmm. one's, so even though it's not heavy, it's definitely more like in your face. And there is a scent trail. It is very powerful. Yeah. Like I put it on and, you know, you you can smell me. You can smell <laughs> as I walk by. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think this gets too heavy. No, no. <laughs> well, a helicopter show. Right. Yeah. Oh, no, you fight fires in a helicopter. Did I read that right, or did I totally miss I think, that? Uh, maybe that they were when they were filming it was in the hell on, on that. Like they, nobody could actually get on the ground because it was mm -hmm. too big. That's crazy. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. He, uh, Any of those fragrances much <laughs> heavy? You know, every time I check the mail, I also also. Oh have my god! Out. Okay, so now that Ryan is here, can we make the announcement? Oh, yes. Yeah. So we have Orion has been very, very generous to allow us to give away two discovery sets. So drop a brain in the comments if you are interested. And we'll pick two people from, you know, the comments. So if you're interested in a discovery set, we're going to pick two winners from the comments. But you have to put a little brain. Yes. That's just put a little brain, very easy peasy. Yep. And we'll randomly select oh, two winners. Two winners, yes. yes. Okay, so uh, Ryan, I don't know who's behind the chat, if it's both Ryan and Liberty or just Ryan or just Liberty. Ryan. But, I think okay. 
Yeah. So he just clarified that brain dance is an EDP. Oh, okay. okay. Chasing Perfect. memories is an X trait. Got it. Okay. Thank you. Oh. For okay. So, oh, just watching the helicopter oh, drone. Got it. It was too big. Yeah. That I had sense. a whole like rant, weird visual of like the firefighters with a water hose on the helicopter. Don't know right. where the water is coming from, but they're fighting. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, we got brains. We get we, we're getting brains. So okay, liberty else behind the scenes, yes. Nice. Okay. This guy. That's not a brain. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I cannot. Okay. So uh, uh, I believe Ryan said internationally. Can you clarify Fine. that though? Clarify. Mm -hmm. So yes, he did say internationally. So drop your brains, even if you know you're not in the U.S. Because I am 99% sure he said internationally. Okay. Okay. So Corey doesn't have a brain. If you don't have a brain icon, just type in the word brain. brain. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we didn't think about that. <laughs> we think everybody has emojis. Yeah, but sometimes, like, uh, if you're on your computer, for example, you may not have, depending on the computer you have, I think, yeah. you may, may not have um, the emoji. Uh, there you go. <laughs> you are entered. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I'm happy we're able to do this because I know um, Broken Anatomy is not a brand that many people know about. Um, mm -hmm. Like I was introduced to it um by you and then I watched a live that Ryan did with Oh My Soul. Right. Uh, it was very informative. So yeah. I'm glad that I was able to try these. Yeah, definitely. Um I think because it's such a small collection, um, I think you'll find something that that you like, you know, you're not gonna be overwhelmed. Um the presentation is so cool. Like yeah. Ryan, I was saying um just as a little constructive criticism is it, it came like this and maybe like a clear acrylic case for the discovery sets would be really cool. So that, you know, you can see on both sides, the coin and the, um, yeah, the thing. So that would be pretty cool. So I don't know if that's still, you know, in the process of being developed as far as the packaging and the presentation. And, um, are there any, um, plans for the cap? Any, are, are the caps remaining like this? That's a question that I have. Yeah, or is it like um is this the finalized thing? I love the bottle though. I love this um yeah. metal. I, I mean I like all of it. I think it's really cool. Yeah, I do. I like it. <laughs> okay, so D'Angelo heard about uh Brooklyn Nanny from Fragrance Bros last year. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, any of you guys have questions? Um I think oh, we're oh this is probably off topic, but that's okay. Keep dropping the brains though. Yes. Um, for now. Oh, nice. Okay, so I'm excited. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Very cool. Yeah. Which one's that? Is this a oh okay? You just ordered a sample set. Okay, cool. Let us know what you think about them, Michelle. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I thought so too. I think it's going to be, uh, it, it, it's, it's going to be polarizing, right? Yeah. If you're like not into more artistic kind of bottles and you may not like this if you're into just plain. I, just like, the, I like the, like the shock effect. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what, like, what the hell is that? That's what caught my attention is the, but this is why I wanted the bottle because yeah. I'm, I'm like, I need to touch it. <laughs> yeah, I want to touch it. Yeah. <laughs> like I want to just like I just want to rub it, you know, like, mm. yeah, like what is it? Yeah. So I know. Know. Like, yeah. The caps aren't for everyone. No, they're not. Um, because Trident Water doesn't like obviously not. Under the table go oh, yeah, yeah, but let's see what the new ones look like. Hi. Drop a brain if you're interested in a discovery set. We are giving we are picking two winners. Yes. Because um, Broken Anatomy has so graciously offered two discovery sets to send out. And it is international. 
Yes, I think that's really cool because the yeah. last one it, we can only limit it to folks in the U.S. So right, nice. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah. But uh, guys, oh, are we going back to the turret thing again? <laughs> no, but but this, <laughs> I'm excited to see what this is gonna look like. Yeah. Same. Um. Yeah. So. Today was Broken Anatomy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have, um, I think next week we're doing, not next week, but actually we don't know because of Valentine's mm -hmm. Day and stuff. Yeah. Um, we'll, we need we'll, to finalize that. We'll, we'll keep you updated. Yeah. So it could be next week. It could be the week after. But we'll see. But regardless, we're going to be doing S. Baker fragrances next. Um, and then, yeah, we'll go from there. So if you guys are interested in hearing us talk about the very interesting sense of Sarah Baker or from the S Baker collection. Stay tuned for that. Yeah. Um, Barry came at the last minute. Yes. Yeah. Drop um, a brain if you want a discovery set. We are picking two winners from the chat. Yes. yes I saw yes. a bunch of brains. Look at all these brains. Good. Brain. We'll have a good um, brain. <laughs> A fun uh, selection. Ninety nine percent sure too. Okay, so as long as uh, you know you don't live anywhere crazy, I'm pretty sure you can get it. But yeah. we'll, see. we'll keep you updated. <laughs> yes. Okay. Wherever, uh, wherever the discovery sets can be sent. Now, if you live in the middle of nowhere, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> we'll try. We'll try. Oh, thank you, Sparkly Nicole. Okay. We'll try the best we can. Uh, we have uh, Robert in the building. Drop a brain in the comments. Yes. There we go. There's your brain. We got it. We got it. Oh, S. Baker. So excited for that. Like, mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, S. Baker. Are we going to do the whole collection, like Sarah Baker and the S. Baker? I mean, we can. If we do it that way, it's going to be a longer. Right. Why? Mm -hmm. Because the first one has, what, like eight or something? And then the new one has five. Yeah, that is a long. So that's going to be a yeah, lot. focus on the... I'm just so excited about charade. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we, you know what? We can talk about our favorites from the original collection. Right. Yeah. We'll keep it at maximum like two or three. Okay. We can every single one of them. Well, I only have, I think I only like two of them. So, okay. Yeah. Here we go. So, we'll talk about a couple and then we'll do the full S. Baker collection. Yeah. I think that'll be good. Please do it which way? The whole collection? We'll touch on them. Yeah. Oh, we can. Okay. Do. Michelle says we can do a part. One in part two, Mario says to do them all. So all right. <laughs> we'll, do we'll do it then. But we might have to put it into two two parts because they're um it's it'll be a lot. I mean, yeah. the last live we did was like two hours. Two hours. And the way we talk. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it takes us 30 minutes to get into these. I know. <laughs> but I like chatting with everybody. Yeah, exactly. That's probably it's interactive. So yeah, we shouldn't worry about the time. It's interactive which makes it more special right. and it may take more time, but it's, it's not, it's cool. It's yeah. cool. If it's going to be helpful, then definitely. Yeah. I you know what I think we should do. Mm -hmm. Tell me. A score, yeah. store, score, store, store. Oh yeah. I'm down. You're only I have what, huh? now. Thanks to Michelle. She sent me um, a sample of the newest one. And then I have, Miss Puffer and the three other ones as samples. Guess who also got <gasps> Oh, hello, Miss Puffer. <laughs> Michelle sent me a sample too. Yeah. And it was a love at first sniff. Right. I, I put it on my skin. Because that one I pushed it on my skin. She sent me a bunch of samples. And mm -hmm. I put that right on the skin, like, right away. And it just hit me in all the right places. And I was like, I'm gonna, I just have to get it. And then they sent me two samples, but one of the samples they sent me, uh, Michelle already sent me, which is a thumb sucker, but they sent me Selfium and I think I need that one. Mm, which one? Selfium. I, I have to, uh, I have to, I have to test that one. So the one I tested was Moon Milk. How'd you like that one? I'm not sure. Okay. I'm not sure. It was a little bit overwhelming. Um, it was very, and it was musky. It was like okay. musky sandalwood, which was, which was, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it yet. Yeah. I don't think Michelle really um, liked that. Maybe Michelle can come on and talk with us on that one. So she's fun. basically. Yeah, that would be fun. Brought us into it. So let me know if you're interested, yeah. uh, Michelle. 
And then um, what else? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've not listened to you guys in this year me. No. Oh my God. No, we're not, we are not doing that. Um, uh, what else? Um, yeah, but I, I now have my, my Miss Poofer and I feel very happy. <gasps> How beautiful it. was that bottle? I want the selfie one because, well, the, the fragrance is good, but the sphere is like a black and yellow type. Um, yeah, it's. I want to like rub it. I know. I don't know like mine, but I love it so much. I love the bottle. Yeah, me too. I wish it was a bigger bottle though, because I feel like. Yeah, yeah it is kind of small. So, okay, so she is interested. So it's a party. <laughs> All right, we will talk. Oops. Yeah. So she didn't mm. like that one as well. It wasn't yeah. crazy about it as well. Yeah, I don't think I don't think I, I'm gonna like. I'm gonna give it one more wear, but yeah, I don't think I like it. I have to try mm. the other two. Okay. Yeah. I also have to try the other ones, the cheaper style one, and then mm. the Moon Milk are the other ones that I haven't tried. I think. Okay. Yeah, I want to do January Scent Project. I think we talked about that one. Um, one of them I'm obsessed with, like completely obsessed with. Ooh, uh, yeah, I, I definitely need to check that out. And Papillon, I am a fan. Yeah, I'm like I need to get some more samples of those. Super fan. I tried Salome. <laughs> oh, what do you think about? Well, we'll we'll wait. Wait, okay. let's not talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. well, well, I think I told uh, Michelle about my some of my thoughts on it, but it's very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. yeah, I love, I love. to wrap it up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any more brains? Last, yeah, before we have brains to win. We got a last one that just popped in. We got mm -hmm. you down. <laughs> um, let me do something really quickly. So, yes, yeah, so I think we, we're going to have a pretty um, interesting next few weeks. I'm hoping we can keep doing this for a while. Me too. Especially um, with, you know, with or without the giveaways. We may not always be able to do giveaways, but yeah. we will definitely try for you guys. Um, another one that's lined up is Olfactum. Yes. So be on the lookout for that one. <laughs> I'm really excited about this. I, 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 did I tell you I ordered my discovery set? From Olfactum? Okay. Yeah, okay. so I'm, I'm hoping to get it actually. I ordered mm -hmm. during the week. So hopefully at the start of the week, I will get it. Okay. Um, so yes. Okay. Yes. You can watch the replay, but we got you. We, we, we have your brains. Yeah. That sounds weird. <laughs> I don't understand. You asked for, you, you did this last time. Yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. Oops. Okay. Yes. Yes. He's awesome. I can't wait to try the cheaper one. Corolla? Corolla. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can't yeah. wait to try one. I'll have a feeling. Thank you, Simone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so I think that's it. Um, if you guys aren't subscribed to my dish channel, make sure you go over there and subscribe and vice versa. Um, Do it. Like the video as well. Oh, okay. it's, I, I, it's, yeah, it's so weird. I know, I gotta go this way. Amin is awesome. She has so many lives you do a lot of lives which are there's so many actually, fun. I've, been, I've been slacking lately but i think i might do one later on today since i'm kind of in the mood and i have so much stuff to share i've been going my tell me what <laughs> i've been doing the utmost you should see me all the okay i'm gonna just quickly show y'all i found this on makari <sighs> this is a Viorissimo. Okay, I have I'm a sample actually, of that. Do you love it? I'm not super crazy about it. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's nice from the atomizer, not so much on my skin. Okay. But I'm going to give it some more time. Yeah, um, I, I got my number five parfum and OMG. That is so good. It's yeah, amazing. yeah, yeah. Amazing. I don't know. Once you fall down that vintage rabbit hole, that's it. Girl, <laughs> I no am it. Now. I am this in it. One. This is the Col Eau de Cologne. Okay, I think Another I have one. a place on the way. I don't even know what I order. It's like midnight and I'm like. I know, it's a, it's a mess. It's a problem. I got um, yes, Palomar, 
EDT Shalimar. Shalimar. Okay. I'm not a fan of Shalimar. I like the um I don't think I'm a fan either. I've never smelled like the original one until this. And I'm like, it's quite powdery. Yeah, but I, I want to spend more time with it before right. I completely write it off. Okay. Um yeah, okay. I like um the souffle line. I have the modern souffle intense. Yeah. And even that one, I'm not super duper crazy about, but I do like it. Right. Pleasant. Um, I also got, I am, my dear, I've no. been really bad. <laughs> like, really bad. It's yeah, very. I have to stop talking for a while. <laughs> What's that? Calvin Klein Escape. Oh my God. The, this is like the 90s. This is actually so good. Yeah. You know what I saw? Michelle put up, uh, God, what is it called? Fem Rocas? Yeah. So I was searching for one, but I haven't found one yet. I but found a few, but uh, oh, just come. I'm finding really good deals, okay? <laughs> but, you know, I'm doing this, I'm doing so much more than what I would get using like other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we need to put on our Sunday outfits and go to church. <laughs> so our church hat tilts it to the side, you know? I, um, I kind of like smelling like an old lady. Me too. Okay, I'm jelly. I'm so jealous. I have a problem. That's yeah. that's just it. I but just yeah, have. This, is, this is an issue. This and makeup for me. So I just <sighs> not... speaking of makeup, Fenty Beauty. Um, did I need another lip gloss? Absolutely. No. <laughs> Why? Of course you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but I got one. I just got this. Shut up. Where's yeah. mine? Mine came so quick. I'm trying to my moisturizer. And um, you got yours. You got yours and I haven't gotten mine yet. What the F, man? <laughs> me, and my, so me and Michelle. Michelle is like my, sweat, my uh, shade Ooh. twin. Michelle, did you get yours? Because I'm going to have to have a talk with Samantha. <laughs> Samantha, rabbit hole. <laughs> why haven't you sent my stuff? <laughs> I was surprised, honestly. I was not expecting it. And it just came. I was like, holy shit. How gorgeous. Let me see. I got goosebumps. The packaging is lovely. Awesome. The packaging is lovely. Um, take my money. Yeah. I, see, look, why did I smell it? There's no scent. See, that's how you know, like, I have a problem. I smell everything now. I don't know why I smell yeah. that. Like, it was supposed to smell like something. <laughs> so, no, since we're just staying on and chatting, no. Um, but I was, I definitely want to because C was actually, it was nice. Um, but I, you know, I love the intense versions of everything. So I definitely wanted to try Sealer Parfum. Okay, yeah. I'm also curious about the uh, La Belle Parfum that's coming or La, La Belle Parfum. Mm. I'm really curious about that. Uh, okay, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what we'd be doing to fund our... <laughs> You know, but I did sell a bunch. I Michelle was on I Eve's did. live yesterday and she was talking about how she sold a bunch. Of, we've been talking and I sold a lot of my high dollar stuff that I just don't reach for. Yeah. So I use that to buy a lot of things that. Yeah. A, I, basically a lot of just, I basically just gave away uh, my Guerlain, my discontinued Guerlain. Uh, what's it called? Mon Exclusive. You just gave it away? No, I didn't give it away, but oh. I sold it for probably, I could have probably asked more for it, but. I just, I'm I'm not greedy and I don't want to like, I just, you know, wanted to get rid of it and just get that money to, to spot all that Oryx stuff. <laughs> oh my God. Did you get every, did you get all the eye stuff? Huh? Did you get all the eye stuff as I well? No, I only, I, I didn't get too crazy. I only got one of the smoke, the, the eye things. I got um Defiance and then one <laughs> glow lust. So. Okay. I almost want to get two because Me too. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> calm, down. Like, calm down. Yeah, but I will just get one and then I'll go from there. So, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, I haven't tried that one. La Nuit. I think is that the one that Chris has, like the the vintage version of La Nuit by Paco Rabanne. I think he I could be wrong though. I don't know if they're still here. Um I'm not thinking of the wrong thing. We're not talking about YSL, right? I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, same phase two of my purge is coming, but now it's getting tough because I kind of like everything that I have. Mm -hmm. And part of me is looking at my Frederick Mall and then I'm like, no, I can't do that. 
I can't. Right. Do no, it. don't do that. I'm not, no, I can't. There's some that I just can't, even though I probably haven't worn them in like a year. Yeah. <laughs> I just can't. Yeah. Same. I, I, but yeah, if you don't reach for it, then what's the point? They disappear on your skin. Oh no, we don't want that. Not for that it. money. That's a lot mm -hmm. of money to just get stuff that just goes away. Yeah. Oh, D'Angelo. I can't even tell you guys how, how many I got this month. <laughs> and I saw um, Cherie's videos. She had she made a video. She just posted, I think, two days ago yesterday that mm -hmm. said, um, uh, what is it about? January purchases, what I purchased this month. And I was like, okay, yeah, she got a lot of stuff. And then I was looking at the stuff that I got this month. And I was like, oh, I thought maybe I should do a video, but I think I'm not going to do it because it's, it's too, it's too much. Mm. <sighs> Never. No. Never. Wait. What's a week? <laughs> it's a uh, acro. Acro? Yeah, this one. Oh, I don't think I've tried anything. Okay, me. I have to add it to the list. Oh, it's a coffee fragrance to end all coffee fragrances. Ooh. Okay. Super wearable. Super delicious. I'll, I'll give you my cotton ball that's on the floor right here. <laughs> Okay, uh, just so uh, Dre is here. I can't find this. Hey, welcome. Oh, sorry. Go. Oh. I, I clicked out of there and go. Hello. But I did, I did want to highlight that one as well. Oh, so, those are my favorites. So this, is, so this live is, is about broken anatomy. We finished our broken anatomy section. And we're just kind of chatting with you guys. But if you just joined and you want a discovery set, we're picking to get two winners. Drop a brain in the comments if you are interested. Yes, yes, we're probably gonna wrap up soon, but we're just yeah, we're just out. Oh, our addictions. That hoe's got money, money. I don't know who you're talking about. You're trying to sell a five hundred dollar uh, fragrance. Mm. I think that's what I need to do. Is Robert. that a fragrance? Also, he was selling. Uh, he said five hundred for fragrance. What is it? Office or something? <laughs> First batch of office. Nobody wants that. We can't. Uh, office. Um, yeah, but I think what uh, Robert said about buying grails this year, I think that's something I'm going to try to do. I'm already failing yeah. at it. I've already failed. <laughs> well, but. that means you can't like blind buy because then you just don't know, right? Okay. okay, so the only things I'm blind buying at the moment are vintage. Are vintage. Right. That's the only thing that I'm blind buying. And so far out of all the ones that I've gotten, only two of them are like, mm. Mm. They're, they're not like blowing <laughs> me away. I guess right. what I should say. But right. the others, I love, I'm not going to say how many, have mm -hmm. one way, and I'm in love. And I definitely, it's crazy how picky I've I've been. Because, like, um, yeah, I've sampled a lot of stuff. And I haven't wanted to buy anything. I don't know. Yeah. I've, I've, I've bought more vintage stuff than I have, like, new. Same. I think um, the only new fragrance that I bought this, this month, or I guess this year. Mm -hmm. Wait, am I? Is that true? Okay, yes. So the only ones that I bought that are new are the Miss Poofer. And yeah, uh, that's much. Yeah. And that was a blind buy. Okay, that was not a blind buy for me. <laughs> but when I smelled it, I was like, okay. I, and I got these D, these two DHS, which both of them do smell vintage. So okay. but they're, they're new. And yeah, I like those vibes. This was actually my first purchase of 2021. Oh, okay. It was my first purchase, and Ryan said it was his first sale. So that oh, was cool. That's awesome. How exciting. Oh, yeah. That is nice. That was nice. So, yes. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I, I have more than that, but we're, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It is okay. Um, <gasps> oh, Lord. Oh, have you received Ooh. it? You love it. I love that one. I think you'll love it. I think you'll love it. It's It's really nice. Just got blue azuli for a honeymoon. Oh. Blue azuli is nice, but it's so expensive. I I I have no clue what that is, but I know our Prive line is very expensive. The bottles are are pretty nice, though. Yes, yes, it's like a blue version of uh, Rouge Malachite, which is the one that I think is the most popular out of the. Oh, so I've only smelled the rose oud one, which I can't remember what it's called. Okay, okay. And it was like, yeah. I'm in trouble because I got a lot of samples from Chris and Camille. <gasps> Speaking of that, do I have my portrait? 
Where did I see it? <gasps> I love that. That is so cool. Oh, it's so far away. I can't. I can't That's reach perfection. it. But they drew me a really nice portrait, and That's I'm so gonna happy. be your like logo for everything. Yeah, it's already my uh, my. Yeah, I saw. <laughs> I, anytime. I wish I was that talented. Yeah. I, I could draw stick figures. Yep. The elites. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, yeah, that too. That too. I got uh, I'm making sense. It has. Um, he has originals, but he does mostly inspired fragrances. Okay. And I got fragrances that I've been wanting, but just refuse to pay the money for. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them is Kinky by, it's Roja's Fetish. Okay. And my friend uh, Tenzin sent me a sample of Roja's Fetish. And mm -hmm. I thought it was beautiful. So I said, you know what? I'm going to get this instead. This was like 20, 20 bucks or something. Mm -hmm. And it smells spot on, especially in the dry down. Mm -hmm. And then I also got Spiced Infusion, which is Dior's spice blend, which I'm completely obsessed with. But again, yeah, expensive. Yeah, and I love both of them. I, I love yeah, them. Awesome. I'm gonna have to check that out. Definitely, yeah. you can save money and still smell the exactly. Thing. You don't need to spend, you know, no. two hundred, three hundred dollars on a fragrance. If you something. And also to support a friend, you know, definitely, obviously. Yeah, obviously. I just really, I refuse to spend that much money on a perfume. I don't know. I have not. I I think the most expensive one I have is probably, is it African leather? Okay. Yeah, African leather is expensive. Yeah, I think that's probably the most expensive one I have. Okay. Everything else is mostly like Indian. Ooh, Diago. Yeah. Okay. Diago Love is one that I don't think I would... Um, I will let go of a kidney and a half. <laughs> so I need I need a little bit of kidney to survive, I think. Who's that by? A Roja Dove. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -mm. It's too much money. It's too much. I'm good. I'm good on Okay, I haven't heard of Varanasi. But I think I've heard you talk about them before, but I don't know. They're so fancy. It just sounds expensive. I know Bodicea is ridiculously expensive. Yeah. yeah. I only tried one Bodis Bodicea, but Bo I always want to say Bodacious. Bodicea. I know Sam from My World of Fragrance has a huge collection. Of, yeah, they're expensive. Yeah. They're expensive. Mm -hmm. yeah, everyone wants a uh, Diagolab. <gasps> you I have Diagolab. <laughs> Simone says, I have the oh, Okay. Okay. <laughs> One day when I'm grown up, I will have. But the only thing about the is I was thinking that I think I would just get a travel spray. Mm -hmm. One, because it's it, it's a more affordable. Two, yeah. it's such a an opulent fragrance that I don't see myself wearing it on a daily basis. It's one that's like a special right. occasion, and right. I think ten mils for my entire lifetime is enough. Probably enough. So yeah. that's what I felt about uh, uh, Mono's uh, Garakinis Immortal. Okay, yeah, I like I really wanted that, but I didn't want a full bottle, so I found one on I found it like a ten ml on uh, Mercari, and it's fine. Like yeah. Like I'm, I wore it the other day. I'm like, I'm really not going to reach for this very often. Cause it's something that it's so sweet that. I, I actually know. didn't like that one. Cause I thought it was too sweet. Yeah. It's I so sweet. Somewhere. There's like, part of me really loves it. And part of me is like, mm, it's so yeah. sweet. You know? yeah. It's really sweet. Yeah. Too gourmand. Very Ooh. gourmand. Yeah. Hi Mark. I didn't see you come in. Hi. Hi. Welcome. We're still doing um, brain entries if you want to. Uh, there's still 30. Yeah. You guys like seeing us just chit chat? Just, you know. Yeah, you know. Degrees. It's <laughs> always like that, though. Like sometimes, <laughs> even the other day, uh, Dre on Common Sense was doing a live, and it was his first time doing a live after like a year, it felt like, because I don't know what he was doing, but he was depriving us. So mm -hmm. he finally did a live. We all came on, and he was wrapping it up, and everyone's like, well, what do we do now? <laughs> Stay out, like what do we do with ourselves? I think it was a Friday night, so you know, we're just hanging out. And he ended up staying on. He dropped the StreamYard link and a couple of us joined in and we were just talking. Oh my it god. Was, it was so cool. Yeah. So it doesn't have to be formal all the time, you know. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Oh yes, Robert, I need I will because I want to try. Have you tried Oud Infini by mm -hmm. Ducita? 
I've no. heard it's like the skankiest road ooze really? fragrance, and I'm so, very. Intrigued. I wonder if I have a sample of that. I have some Ducita samples. I love okay. this Aura. Um, yes. mm -hmm, that one was good. good, but I think I will end up getting. Um, I think it's Pavillon d'Or. Is the I think it's a tobacco one. It has tobacco in it as well. Yeah. So does this. Um, Isara does. Yeah. This I think it's Le Pavillon d'Or. That one I think I'm gonna end up getting. I have a sample of it. And I I was like. Mm -hmm. how talks about this one. Um, is, uh, is the oud uh, like barnyard oud in that oud? So. Yeah, I don't know how it's supposed to be like really intense. Um, but it seems like one of those, if you love it, you love it. And if you don't like it, you hate it. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's another <laughs> thing that Mike does. Mike, for making sense, uh -huh. I think he's a DJ by profession or like a side gig. I'm not sure, but really talented DJ. And every now and then he'll cut on a YouTube live and DJ and we can put yeah. recording in. So he had one last night and it was mm -hmm. so much fun. You know, being that we're in a pandemic, your girl's not going out, you know? And sometimes I want to dance and stuff. <laughs> and so it's just a huge party of a bunch of us just in the chats and then he's taking requests and mixing music. It's amazing. I think yeah. next time he does it, I'm gonna text I'll send you a text. So if yeah, you're definitely. you guys want to see me dance, but definitely I'd love I to I mean we won't see you unless you want to go on the live, but <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to be. You're just listening and chatting. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're always having fun here. It's always really, yeah. always a good time. Um, okay. Yeah, it is fun. Go subscribe to Making Sense, Definitely. and you'll get notified when he does it. Getting over there after this. For yeah, sure. and just join. The thing is that he doesn't keep it because he does music, so he can get copyright issues. Right, so right. He deletes it right after the end. Um, yeah. Yeah. Those damn cops. I, one of my posts got flagged. I'm like, really? I'm nobody. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a ton of fun. Hey, welcome. Hi there. Um, I don't know if you're just not coming in, but we talked about Broken Anatomy, an indie house uh, based out of Arizona. Mm -hmm. um, and we're doing a giveaway. We're giving away two discovery sets. So if you're interested, go ahead and drop a brain emoji. We'll accept all brain emojis until the end of the live. So if you put one in, even at the last second, you'll be put in on the list. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. That's what I was doing. <laughs> so you, he's probably the one that figured out how to remove the red. <laughs> Which one? I think so the silhouette challenge, right? It's like, yeah. if I was like standing in my doorway and it's to, um, I don't know, whatever song that is. I, I can't remember right now. And then it like cuts out and you're like in this red light in like a sexy pose. And oh. these women are posing naked. Oh. But you can't see it because of the red light, but somebody, some creeper figured out how to take out the red light. <laughs> and you see, you know what you see, everything. You see everything? Cause they're in the, they're in the door like posing and stuff. Oh man. See, well, Don't I, I could probably do it on, in, on the internet. <laughs> oh my God. I could probably do it, but they'll, if they remove the red light, it's going it. to be, you're, you're going to see some spanks. You're going to see some tape. You're going to see some everything. <laughs> That's insane. Wow. Okay. Oh God. Uh, <laughs> drop the link. <laughs> That is insane. It's always a new trend. Like I feel like every time I open up Instagram or something, there's a new trend. There is. There Amsterdam. Is. Who brought up Amsterdam? I don't know. I love Amsterdam. I love. No, I lived in the Netherlands for about three years. I didn't live in Amsterdam though, but I used to visit a lot. And oh, I love it. it's, it's cool. so much. Yeah, yeah. I would love to go. All right. We got more brains. We got more, more brains. brains. Yes. Good, good. I want to be entered, put the brain. <laughs> you know, there, butt ass naked. That's crazy. Like, what? You know? <laughs> Who thinks of this stuff though? Like, oh, let me see how to remove the red light. Like, some somebody who's desperate. Was like, let me see what, what happens if I do that. And then, but that sucks though. That's so bad. They thought they were safe. <laughs> Hold on one second. Look at Trident Water. Anybody get that? Anybody getting that COVID anus? <laughs> Is that even a real thing? <laughs> that can't be a real thing. 
That can't be a real thing. <laughs> wow. Um. <laughs> I'm crying. Do they do it in the drive-thru? Do they have like a drive-thru? <laughs> So all you do is just, you know, you just kind of put your window down and stick your, stick your ass out the window. <laughs> I, I'm, just, I'm not trying to picture that. That's, um. Oh my God. Why does that bring back high school memories? <laughs> <laughs> oh God. The, the guys in the back of the bus used to stick their asses out of the window. <laughs> That is so true. I've driven by buses with little boy butts oh, hanging out of it. Oh God! Um, well, maybe if someone uh, <laughs> let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! So it's a real thing. <laughs> Why though? No? Why? It was isn't the the the, the nose one good enough? Oh God! Just do a blood test. Just take some blood. I don't know. Why do we have to it resort to so these? We're doing it in the yeah. nose. Oh, Jesus oh, I can't. Mm. I'm I not know. Googling that. I refuse. <laughs> <laughs> no butt stuff. Exactly, Drea. No, no butt stuff. stuff. Yeah, that's an exit only for me. <laughs> <laughs> I would rather them literally like oh, if I had to do that. I, I, I don't know. I, I couldn't. I I, I literally no. I'm sorry. That's not yeah, take me on the date first. Get me drunk. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> that is so weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just taking the IV. Just, yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> oh, I'm done. Diapers. I'm done with all of you guys, right? <laughs> Thank you for the braid. <laughs> yes, Nakata. Welcome. You, we, we got a braid in the cobets. Well, you know, we'll <sighs> special. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I need more than a dinner in a movie. Mm -hmm. Damn. Okay, that was that was fun. That was interesting. Thank you guys okay, so much. So, <laughs> <laughs> let me know whenever you're ready because I could be here all day. Just yeah, no, I'm ready. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> you'll have to drink that liquid that you drink before going off to like flush you out and <laughs> stuff. Oh my God! Really? How did we get here? This is Triton. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like yesterday on <laughs> something's happening because on um and Michelle's live yesterday we were talking about anal sex for some reason. Like <laughs> we're talking about what? Somehow somebody started talking about anal sex, <laughs> and I'm like, now somebody just brought up anal again. <laughs> Great. So I guess anything goes in the chats, man. Whatever, yeah. whatever's on your mind, just just throw it in there. Okay, good question. So <laughs> on, on on our Instagram, <laughs> on our Instagram, if you don't have Instagram, we will also put something here on um, YouTube to reach out to us. Yeah, because uh, we know not everybody has Instagram, so we <laughs> we'll find you. We'll find you. Yeah, we'll find you. You find us, but we're gonna. We spin the little, we're gonna do it the same. We spin the little wheel and pick the two yeah. winners. Yeah. And we'll put that up on Instagram. But if you don't have an Instagram, we'll also announce the winners here on um, YouTube on like the community tab. Do you have a community tab? Yes. Is, it, I do is that what it's called, Hennessy? <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. Anal sex going on. They were talking about the oh, lovers. Scale, lovers. Oh, there you go. Yeah. yeah. I was dying. Oh. Okie dokie. If you ladies are interested. <laughs> over there. Oh my God. I think I just say, we'll just see if I'm still here in two weeks. 
I'm confused. <laughs> We're all like, oh, no. well, stay with us, please. Don't go anywhere. Yes, don't go anywhere. We'll announce the winner soon. Probably by, or moving on. Follow the cotton sauce with the weird. We're going to get in so much trouble, but I'm sure YouTube's going to be like, that's it. Take this down. <laughs> I am done. Oh, my God. Oh, back to perfumes. <laughs> I actually received two because they were doing a buy one, get one free deal at the, during the holiday season at the beginning of, I think, the beginning of the year. Mm hmm and I ordered, but I think I ordered the wrong ones. Like, I don't know. Oh, um, for me. Yeah, they're, they're like a gourmand house. So if you love right. gourmands, I thought I like, I do like gourmands, but I think I don't like super realistic gourmands. You got it. And this one's just too sweet for me. Yeah. But they have so many, and I probably picked ones that were just too much. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm weird about gourmands. I love gourmands, but yeah, if it smells too like, like I, I don't like um that Cosmorati one that everybody likes. It smells like Lyra. A, Lyra, yeah, it smells like a cupcake to me. I'm like, I'm See, I like Lyra. I have mm -hmm. Lyra. I like Lyra, but the ganache ones, I have one right here actually. Um, it's too. It's so sweet. It's so sweet. Which ones did you order, Simone? Because. I got ice cream shop and marshmallow and incense, and it's too much. Thank you, Blue. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for staying through the craziness. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Uh, okay. So this is his excuse. We all of us. Yeah. All of us. Mm -hmm. Next time it'll be a uh, leave. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> I'm clicking. Okay, you click it. <laughs> um, those actually are my sisters. She is an artist. She's really, really oh, talented, cool. and uh, she's also a basketball player. So, she, and she likes to dance. So, this is her early work. You should see some of the stuff that she does now. Wow! You should, should like, up. huh? You should post some. Yeah, I should actually. I should have her like draw something um, like for my channel or something. Mm -hmm. But she's super talented. None of us, there's five of us. None of us have like not even an ounce of like creativity. I guess art. We, none of us. I we can't sing. None of us can sing. <laughs> you're either born with it or you're not. <laughs> yeah. And she was born with the gift of art. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, she's really talented. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, she was she was talking about and no swap. She'll just wait the two weeks and see if she's dead or alive. <laughs> Me too. I, yeah, I think I think we're all on the same page there because uh, I'm not about that anal swabs. <laughs> hey, indecent, welcome. Hi. Uh, we do a giveaway. If you're interested, emoji in the chat and you're entered. Yeah, the brain emoji. Yes. I'm bipolar. Good to know. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. Let me know how you find those because I'm I'm interested. Oh, which one? I'm sorry. I was going to buy um, them. Wish at the last minute. Color code. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Don't get those. Those incense and marshmallow. Don't get those because it's unless you like super super sweet ones. Mm. Um, the mushrooms. The shrooms in the back. Um, those, it's just a tapestry. Sure. And nothing. I've never done psychedelics, by the way, in case anyone's wondering. <laughs> um, yeah, my, you know, I, my sisters have freedom in decorating the room, so they, um, like mushrooms. Yeah. That's <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? I kind of dig it. It's cool. Mm -hmm. Good to know. <laughs> Thanks for clearing that up. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, okay, see, that's a different type of sweet. So I love, mm -hmm. both of us love musk ravageur, I'm sure. And I'm trying to find some Dries Van Noten for a good yes. price. I mean, I would like to have that one. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> nice. I don't, I don't think I've ever tried that one. 
Um, Thank you, Mighty Strong. Maybe you were interested. Um, did I look yeah. away? I don't think I did. No, I think you did. I've never done psychedelics. Oh, she said that with a straight face, y'all. Yeah. I didn't look away there. No. So there. <laughs> Okay, let's let's wrap this up finally. Thank you guys so much Bye. for this is a great time. Enjoy the rest of your day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, okay, good to know. All right, guys, uh, have a great day. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I hope the weather's nice. It's out here. I probably go sun sunbathe for a bit, get some vitamin D. You know, maintain my bronzeness, my bronze goddess uh, vibe that I'm going for. Um, yeah. Oh my god, I'm so jealous about that auric. Put some auric on. I I put some on with my moisturizer. I have no foundation. Just have one pump of auric and my moisturizer. I'm dead. And I like okay. it. I it like looks it. Still okay. amazing. Bye, Bye everybody. <laughs> Bye.